Hey, what up, 6mm fighter? Dandy here doing another holster and doing a 1911 with a light. Got two of them here, so uh, I want to make one. This is my outdoor pistol, and um, we're pretty much gonna do a very compact holster. We're gonna do a wraparound holster, so it's not gonna be a two piece holster. So, for those that wanna kinda learn how to do that, this is the time to take notes. Alright. So let's get started. Um, first thing we want to do is I have a leftover sheet and it's pretty much um, the size of a uh, just a regular piece of paper here. And what we can do is um, just use it to figure out how we want to wrap this around. So we want to take put this in the middle. We have to have at least three times the gun. So we got to have it here and here also, right? So we got to go ahead and kind of do something like that. And then we also got to do something like this, but it doesn't really fold over because the the the, uh, the actual the grip is in the waist, right? So we got to cut that out, right? So we're gonna figure this out. We're just gonna outline the gun here, so I know, oops, kind of where I'm going. This is the inside, so it doesn't really matter, All right? All right, there we go. There we go. I can see my gun. Cool. So now from here. See the gun comes out to about here, and we're gonna chop that sucker out because we don't need it. And go short. It's good to go short because we can edit that later. We can fix that later. So we're gonna have a cutout, kind of like, kind of like that. And we want to get rid of. All this bullshit. We don't need you, sucker. Goodbye. And everything else we keep. Okay, cool. So now that we got that set, let's go ahead and cut. It's nice to go nice and slow first. Try and get in that line. Uh, you can use a ruler, however, my ruler is really retarded slippery on this, so I'm just gonna go slowly and get that cut. And then once you get that cut, you can pretty much just go as hard as you want and as fast as you want. Yeah. And then this way, I wanted to cut it like this. Cool, that should do it. And you just pretty much break out, you break this part off, and that's it. There you go. That is what we're going to use now. Because, again, we want to do that. We take this side, wrap it around. Uh, we're actually going to take this side first, wrap it on this way. All right, now that we have that done, we're going to go and heat this up. All right, so um, I don't have an oven big enough for this Kydex, um, this Kydex piece. Usually with two pieces, it's smaller. Um, so you can fit it in an oven, a small, small oven. But in this case, uh, I just took a plate from an oven, uh, or a plate that I would stick in a big ass oven, and uh, I don't know, just this to keep it up from the, uh, used, as a, used as a heat sink, right? So we're gonna go ahead and heat this bad boy with a heat gun. All right, here we go. Alright guys, so it's pretty much almost done, almost warm, almost ready to put in. What I'm actually going to do though, do kind of that, keep it going. Get the gun ready.
Bam! Let's do this. That now. Let's mix that sandwich. Alright, so let's see what we got. It's only been like two minutes. Uh, I used the air compressor to dry it off. So it, you know, it molds faster. Hell yeah. Now that looks not, that doesn't look that bad. Huh? I don't have to, that's stuck in there. <laughs> Alright, well, now we're going to have to go ahead and cut, shave, and make sure it slips out. Alright, so, my gun's stuck. I can't get it out. It's like permanent! Um, well, let's see here. There's a few good things just out of the bat, though, from coming out of the press. Is that the outside here at the top is, um, it's, it's wider, so it's easier to slip in and uh, get your gun in your holster. So that's good. We won't change that. However, it is stuck in this bitch. Come out. Holy moly. Well, I guess my, my gun likes the new holster. Doesn't want to come out. I could heat it up and, and uh, you know, get it out like that. But I really want the detail. All right. Oh, you okay, buddy? All right. So there's a few things we gotta do. First of all, we have to kind of cut this out the same way we did here in the beginning. No power again? God damn. Got that piece out. Don't need it. All right, so now it's sort of looking like a holster. Okay, next thing we gotta do, we gotta open this up a bit. I think we need to release the tension on that. That's just coming in way too too much. made a kind of a smooth spot here so that's good now the next thing we got to do um, I have to cut this is too much this is too much space here right you know this is where I hook up the belt clip Maybe we just put that there like this um, but there's just too much there's just too much here so we gotta we gotta find a way to kind of slim that down just a tad bit okay so we have a nice kind of edge kind of going like Right, so that's good. Now we can release some of the, I guess, um, some of the detail on the outer side because it's too bumpy. We gotta fix that and uh, bring it up a bit again, just here, just here actually. Let's see how that goes. All right, so I decided to switch the outside with the inside and uh, just so, just so I can cut out this side now because it's just way too much excess stuff and I can't fit the gun in. So we gotta trim, trim a little bit more. Okay, so um, I got it inside. I've pretty much made cutouts and whatnot. 
the next thing I need to do is I need to bring this pistol way more up. And I only want to heat up pretty much the front portion. Alright guys, sorry I forgot to keep you guys updated, but I'm essentially putting it together. Um, just putting the piece on here. I haven't filed this down yet. I am just um, getting my screws in here so I can set everything in. And uh, just one little quick tip, if you're going to use your Chicago screws and put them on the inside here, um, file them down as flat as you can um, because you don't want your 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 you know accessories on the gun to catch on to this because it will mess it up. So anyways I'm putting it in. Woo! The tension is amazing. Alright guys, I'm gonna sand this down. Make sure it looks good. So if you're wondering, I like to use um, I like to use this one uh, to pretty much get a basic, you know, foundation. You know, I can cut out nice round curves, maybe even bevel a little bit. If you if you notice, there's a little bit of a little bit of cut there, and um, really good tool to have next is sandpaper. And I like running 2000. This is really fine good for knives and stuff really getting that fine edge so it's really good for finishing off you know getting that smooth smooth stuff going of course some areas are gonna be very hard to sand so you just kind of find a have to find a way actually I don't like that See what I mean? I just made a cut, made a curve there. Perfect. Nice round edge. You don't want any sharp stuff because that gets caught on trees. On string, I know a whole bunch of things, right? So you don't want that on there. Shout out to uh, Philly EDC for uh, posting out how-to videos, man. Really helped me out on making holsters and stuff like that. Um, keep pumping out those holsters, man. You're doing a good job. Much better. Alright, I'm gonna put in the last screw. And uh, we're good to go. And I'm gonna wash this out, and then we're gonna see how this does in, in action. All right, made one more final adjustment as I was sanding down. Um, it's a, you know a really good tip here is to cut out a nice spot right there so you can get a good grip on the gun when you want to draw. Um, if you can see here, the cut here is perfect for my hand, so that I can get the best grip. Pull out and then bam 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 I don't have to like you know reconfigure my my grip alright guys so this is the final product light and 1911 fit right here so if I want to draw everything's nicely nicely uh, sanded down nice and smooth and lightweight because I'm using a very thin um, Kydex, and there's a lot of tension. So, yep. Holla, six mil out. Peace.